welcome to Anything Bikes, Debs here and we are on video 24 I believe don't know what box number, um, lost count of boxes so but really exciting, we've got another box to open let's see what's in this one okay. oh it looks like we have one of the gifts Take it out and then, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, this looks really, really exciting. Right, I'm taking everything out. Chucking the box to one side. <coughs> Sorry, I still got cold. Let me put these to one side. We have this. Right, it's the official. Let's move these out of the way. Racing speaker Bluetooth. my top as well look anyway let's oh my gosh this is really exciting <laughs> okay valley yellow so we've got in charge Rewind, answers your phone lock, fast forward, Bluetooth, mic, and then that's where your um, thingamabobby goes in. Oh my gosh, your memory card, whatever that's called. That looks amazing. Maybe next time. And I'm going to say maybe, maybe next time we can have it hooked up for some music. And we'll be using it. Ah! Can't use it now because I didn't know it was in the box. Um, but, yeah, we'll have it hooked up next time. Isn't that great? Okay. So, let's these. I have no idea what these are, but all looks very, very interesting. Some bits here. That looks like something. Yeah, okay. Right, let's put them all away. And we have issues 59, 60, 61, 62, and 63 in this box. And this video, we're doing 59 and 60. Let's put these away. And let's put number 59 away. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Victory in Catalonia 2006. The Catalan round marked a significant moment for the champion. In the 2006 Catalonia GP, Valentino won out against his rivals. Thanks to this victory, he collected some important points for his position in the overall standings. Beautiful picture. Okay. Books on, Va on Valentino. Oh, is this about his um, book? 
Yeah, oh, this is about books that have been written on Valentino um, and what's been published. I'm not going to go through it because if you have the subscription, you can read it yourself. Um, coolant and oil tanks. <laughs> okay, this looks really good. And then this is the step by step of what we're doing today. And that does look really interesting. And then 2008 season race by race, the Catalan GP. At Montemello, Valentino and his Yamaha M1 both wore livery with a soccer theme, including the champion's football helmet. Oh yeah, he did his helmet as a football. Um, Rossi wanted his appearance to be a tribute to adventures of the Italian team that had won the World Cup in 2006 and was now competing in the 2008 UEFA European Football Championship. Look at that helmet. It's beautiful. It's really well designed. Let's see what we are doing today. Colon and oil tanks. Let me find the right bag. That looks like the bag we need. Yes, it does. Oh, sorry about that. Ah, maybe it. Yeah, there we go. Let's tip it all out. Put that away. Right. Coolant tank out of half. So that's A. B. Oil tank. <laughs> that is. <laughs> It's tiny. C. Oil tank cap. Excellent. D. Retaining strap. So we've had these straps before. Same as picture, and E is coolant tank in a half. So that's that. And plastic. Hmm. Excellent. Step one, press the cap, part C, that's that one, which way is it, cut it, that way, um, into the filler, at the neck end of the oil tank, part B, it only fits one way round, so it should be aligned as seen in the circular photo. See that, and I don't know if you can hear. It's absolutely pissing it down outside. <laughs> My glamorous assistant is looking at me like I've just been really, really naughty. Doesn't like me swearing. Okay, so <laughs> we've fitted the cap on. Step two. Next, fit the tab. Tab on the back of the retaining strap, part D, that's the retaining strap, 
um, into the rectangular slot in the middle of the oil tank, noting which way round it goes. If necessary, secure it with a little glue. So it goes that way round, according to that picture. So let's pop that in there. <laughs> Excellent. Step three. Take the fairing support you assembled in the previous session and I wrapped that up. So we have to unwrap it. Yes, that's this. Um, and fit the oil tank in the position indicated by the yellow circle by pressing its locating pins into the matching holes in the fairing support. Here too you can use a little glue if necessary. We don't like using glue. Okay, so they have it that way. And it's here. There it goes. Easy. Okay. Um, step four. Assemble the two halves of the coolant tank parts A and E. These, these. See that Sims picture. Um, by pressing the pins into the matching holes, make sure the two holes fit flush, as shown in the circular photo. There we go in there. And... No. <laughs> I love it when it's that easy. Okay. Step five. Next, install the tool coolant tank on the right side of the fairing support by pressing the locating pins into the matching holes as indicated by the two yellow arrows. So we've got that. We've got the two pins and it's going in like that. Okay, got there and there. Huh. Perfect. Okay, check that the coolant tank is fitted as shown in the photo. If necessary, use a little glue to secure it. Don't need a little glue. Final result, with both tanks installed, the fairing support should look like this, which it does. That's what we've done today in this issue. Let's hope everything else goes as smoothly as this. Okay, so that's issue 59. Don't 
dominating Mugello in 2007. In the years following the creation of MotoGP, Valentino Rossi was the unquestionable master of this Italian circuit. On June the 3rd, 2007, Valentino took his sixth consecutive victory at Mugello, a record he would add to the following year. Four to six victories on blue race bikes. Ah, okay. So, this article is about all his victories. So, 2004s, he had nine victories. 2005s, 11 victories. 2006, five victories. 2007s, four victories. 2008s, nine victories. 2009s, six victories. And 2010s, two victories. Excellent. And we have the engine control unit support and connectors in this one. And this is what we're going to be doing step by step. And then the 2008 season wrist by race, the British Grand Prix. Perfect. So this is Donington Park, which is where we go. And I like going to Donington Park, which is brilliant. Okay, perfect. Let's see what we are doing today. Okay, let's get the right bag. It's not that one, that's too big. It's not that one. It looks like that one. It's not that one. Very interesting. Right, so yeah, it's a different colour. Let's take it out back and see. Okay. Oops, just got myself. <gasps> right. Oh, empty bag. That. That. That can be chucked. And this. These look interesting. So. We've got A, engine control unit, ECU support bracket. Interesting. Different colour. I don't know if you can see that. Might be too shiny um, on there. Let me see if I can move it. Out that shine. But I've got a black one, and that's a grey one. I don't suppose it matters. Anyway, this. Again, it's plastic. <laughs> we have that. We put it that way. B one yellow connector. Ah, there's a yellow connector. Let's take them out. And then we have two red connectors. This has got an L on, so I'm not look. I'm not going to mix them up. That's the red and yellow. Don't know if you can hear that rain, but we've had storms recently. We had hailstone last night. It was absolutely hammering it down. And then this is... <laughs> I've been laughed at because I nearly swear that it swore there. Um, and I <laughs> remembered not to. Okay, so that's the red connector. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a right. So I'm assuming that's left and that's right. So we're going to keep them in the bags. Step one, press the yellow connector part B into the matching hole in the ECU bracket part A as indicated by the yellow arrow. So the yellow, and it's the bottom one. And there's only one way that will go in. 
sachet. Step two, check that the yellow connector is fitted flush. It is, as shown in the photo, if necessary, secure with a little glue. Next, press one of the red connectors, part C. We use the one in the left, because that's my left. Um, into the hole in the ECU bracket, as indicated by the yellow arrow. I wonder why they've left and righted it and now they're not talking about a left or a right one. Okay, so that goes in there. It's a tiny hole. going in. Maybe it is the other one. No, because that's right. Is that the same thickness? Yeah, that's right. The hole is not. Step 4. Make sure the red connector is fitted flush. The base of this connector is angled to keep it parallel to the yellow connector. Yes. If you can see that. Right. Finally, fit the second red connector part C into the hole shown on the opposite side of the ECU bracket. So that's in there. And that goes that way. that the connector is fitted all the way in as shown in the photo once again you can fix it with a little glue if necessary no but if you can see that I'm going to try and bring it closer I don't know if you can see that but it has tiny tiny little holes around there on the top let's see if I can bring it any closer I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. No, maybe not. Oh, there you go. Can you see them now? Yeah. And then that one. I think you can see that now. Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. 
Final result. With the three colour connectors in place, the ECU support bracket should look like this. And it really, really does look like that. It's that way they've got it. Excellent. So, <laughs> that is the end of this video. And um, again, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, like and share and make any comments in the comment box and enter that competition and you can have any t-shirt you want and I will see you for, I think it's video 25, 23, this is 24, yeah, video 25. Thank you. I've really enjoyed today. It's been good. So I will see you in the next video and have a lovely week or month, however long it takes you to watch these videos. All right. Thank you. Bye.